Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Nehmeduhu wa nusalli ala rasulihi al-kareem. We greet you in this, the blessed month of Rajab of the year 1445 with assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And with the dua, which is most known, the dua of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Allahumma barik lana fi Rajabin wa Shaban. Wabalikna Ramadan. O Allah, kindly grant us blessings in this month of Rajab and in Shaban, which is to come. And grant that we may live to reach Ramadan. The Prophet, Allah's blessings be upon him, was walking by. And uh, he, he saw his companion sitting and talking amongst themselves. And that's the subject of our talk this morning with you on the Islamic, the Yemen Islamic resistance and Red Sea shipping. He asked them, what are you talking about? And they said, we're talking about the signs of the last day. And he said that the last day would not come. And he mentioned 10 signs, 10 signs. They're not given in the order in which they will occur. Amongst the ten are number one, Dajjal, the false messiah, the antichrist. Number two, Gog and Magog. Number three, the return of the son of Mary. Uh, number four, Dukhan, smoke. Number five, the battle ard or a creature of the earth. Number six, that the sun would rise from the west, number seven, eight, and nine, three movements of the earth in which the earth opens and swallows what it swallows, a chas, one in the east, one in the west, and one in Arabia. And number 10, that the fire will come out of Yemen and drive people to the place of gathering. These are the 10 signs, and they're known as the 10 major signs. But I believe there are other signs which are also major signs. And we asked the question in a previous video, has the fire of Yemen arrived? The prophesied fire of Yemen, and we did not say that it had arrived. Although there are others who heard that. <laughs> We shall be feeling the heat that the Islamic resistance, I don't use the terms used by others. I speak of the Islamic resistance in Afghanistan. I don't call it by any other name. I speak of the Islamic resistance in Gaza. I don't call it by any other name. I speak of the Islamic resistance in Yemen, and I don't call it by any other name. You can do that. That's your choice. The Islamic resistance in Yemen is resisting the genocide taking place in Gaza. And uh, they are responding by attacking shipping in the Red Sea, which is connected with Israel, which is connected with Israel. If you're not connected with Israel, your ships can pass through easily. No problem. But this is con considered to be an insult to the West, that you cannot stop shipping to Israel. That is not allowed <laughs> because we rule the world. We are the rulers of the world. That's what the Western world led by the United States. That's what they claim. We rule the world. Look at Pakistan. You can see we rule the world. And we will not allow the Islamic resistance in Yemen to do what they're doing by disrupting shipping in the Red Sea. And so they have responded with the missile attacks again and again on Yemen, the Islamic resistance in Yemen. And now we are now asking you, what does the future hold in store? Will the heat that we are now feeling Will it escalate and would it become the promised, the prophesied fire of Yemen? Well then, 
if this is to become the prophesied fire which will come out of Yemen, then we will, want to, we will expect that the Western world, led by the United States, will have to en engage in a ground invasion of Yemen. They call it uh, boots on the ground. <laughs> that you'll find American soldiers and British soldiers, armed forces landing in Yemeni territory to fight in Yemen. We're asking you, if such a thing occurs, then you can look forward to see that there is going to be a fire coming from Yemen. But at this time, we do not know whether there is a fire coming from Yemen. So we pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala might uh, guide us, that we might be able to read correctly and anticipate what is taking place in Yemen. Thank you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.